Jill Face Igard Saint and Swansea Stun Liverpool in Five Goal Thriller. The race to the finish line has started already according to Jurgen Klopp and by those punishing standards Liverpool have faltered badly. Swansea City belied their league position, their form and their history here to rise off the foot of the Premier League with an accomplished display that reverberated all the way to the top. A cold, flat and goalless first half gave way to a remarkable second when Fernando Llorente gave Paul Clement's teammate to goal lead only for Roberto Firmino to lead a comeback and level matters. Liverpool sensed another statement victory in their pursuit of the title but another defensive lapse enabled Jill Fiesigardson to seal Swansea's first league win here. A first home league defeat for more than a year left Klopp and his players feeling bad and the hangover will be even worse should Chelsea open up a 10-point gap with victory over Hull City on Sunday. Klopp claimed Clement had instigated the fastest improvement in a relegation-threatened team he had ever seen despite last Sunday's 4-0 reverse against Arsenal. It proved to be no exaggeration. The mindset in the group is that anything is possible, said his Swansea counterpart. Our main objective is not to look at the table or talk about how many wins or points we need but to just focus on delivering some performances. Against Arsenal we delivered a 35-minute performance. We suffered two big blows that put us on the back foot, two own goals that were very unlucky, but today we gave a 90-minute performance. We defended well, we took our opportunities at set pieces and were dangerous on the counter-attack. Klopp lamented Liverpool's failure to take a first-half lead but not the merits of Swansea's victory. Maybe it was the early kickoff or the freezing temperatures but their hosts were subdued until falling two goals behind. Philip Cutno initially offered his custom range of inspired passing on his first home appearance since damaging ankle ligaments in November but even he was running the ball out of play by the end of an unusually slow, cumbersome opening by Liverpool's standards. Emery Kent and Adam Lana squandered decent openings before the break while Swansea almost profited from their first attack, with new signing Tom Carroll striking a post via a deflection off the Jan Lovren. Carroll and Martin Olsen impressed on their Swansea debuts having arrived at the club in midweek. Liverpool came out early for the second half but did not switch on. Lovren needlessly conceded a corner with a miscut head and from Sigardson's delivery Liverpool lost every subsequent challenge. Federico Fernandez beat Dragner Griffin and Lovren in the air to head goal wards. The ball rolled off Laurentiis shins onto Wayne Routledge with his back to goal and after he controlled the centre forward stabbed the loose ball beyond Simon Minolet from close range. Laurenti is completely alone in our six-yard box, said Klopp. It should not be difficult to miss him. His side were two goals in arrears before they could rouse themselves. Swansea's new signings were at the heart of an outstanding strike as Olsen broke and released Carroll down the left. The midfielder swept the perfect first time cross towards the penalty spot and there was Laurente, towering above three defenders, to steer a textbook header beyond Minolet's grasp. Swansea were in dreamland, only now the hosts awoke from their slumbers. The visitors had the cushion of a two-goal lead for three minutes before Firmino converted a convincing header of his own. Jordan Henderson sprayed a cross-field ball to James Milner on the left and he returned a deep cross towards the Brazilian who, with Olsen failing to clear, beat Lucas Fabianski with an unstoppable header. Olsen claimed he was nudged in the back by Firmino and may have had a point, but the referee, Kevin Friend, was unmoved. Liverpool, team and crowd were finally stirred and they clawed back the deficit courtesy of a sublime finish from the Brazil international. Jorginho Wijnaldum created the equalizer with a fine piece of control to kill Milner's high ball and cross from the left but it was all about Firmino. Two defenders were in close attention yet powerless to prevent the forward taking the ball on his chest and sweeping a first-time finish inside Fabianski's right post. The stage was set for the home side to complete the fight back. Time, momentum and Swansea's understandable nervousness was on Liverpool's side but so, too, was weak defending and it was the visitors who struck for a third time. 
Leroy Fur and Laurente combined for Carroll to attack the Liverpool rearguard. He evaded two nondescript challenges and overran the ball into the path of Glavin, who could only divert it across the penalty area towards Sigurdsson. The Iceland international made no mistake as he sent the ball back across Minel at goal. Liverpool fought back, Lannis striking the bar and wasting the rebound, but to no avail. Klopp insisted damaging was too harsh a word to describe the impact of this result on his team's title chances. Harsh but fair.